Will 2019 be the year that Florida cracks down on using phones behind the wheel? Starting to look that way today, the Florida House passed a bill making texting while driving a primary offense. The Florida Senate also debating another bill that would require all phone use behind the wheel to be hands-free. Now, this is an issue that some lawmakers, like Tampa Representative Jackie Toledo, have remained driven to pass despite efforts failing last year. And this really is timely because here in the Tampa Bay area, Hillsborough County ranks as one of the worst in Florida for distracted driving crashes. And News Channel 8's Victoria Price, she took a deep dive into the dangers going on behind the wheel and what is being done about it. She joins us now. Hi, Victoria. Hi, guys. It's not just lawmakers that want drivers to put their phones down while behind the wheel. Law enforcement and families, they want you to as well. And when you see the numbers and when you hear their stories, it's very easy to understand why. We live in a society of distraction. If you're not multitasking, you're not doing enough, a mentality we take with us when we get behind the wheel. But distractions turn dangerous and sometimes even deadly. At least 233 Floridians were killed by distracted drivers in 2018. And on average, distracted driving accounts for more than 1,000 crashes every week. Distracted driving means more than just using your cell phone. By definition, it includes eating, putting on makeup, basically anything that would take your eyes and mind off the road. Now, efforts to outlaw some of those other distractions failed in Tallahassee earlier this year, but it doesn't mean that they're not still dangerous. Uh, I had a lady one time riding down Bush Boulevard here in Tampa, uh, weaving across three lanes of traffic back and forth. I thought she was impaired at first, and when I got up to her to see what was going on, she was putting deodorant on. From phones to food and even personal hygiene, distracted driving is a constant menace for the Florida Highway Patrol. We hit the streets with Sergeant Steve Gaskins to see for ourselves. That pickup truck right there, coming, he was going that way. He was looking down at his phone. Oh, she's eating food. Oh, there you go. Right there, she got the whole tray in her freaking lap. A double offender, phone and food. A couple of years ago, there was a, a young man, and I believe it was on, over on Gandy. He was traveling at a high rate of speed and he lost control of his vehicle and overturned several times. He, was, he wasn't wearing a seatbelt, so he was ejected outside of the vehicle, and his, his body came to rest on the shoulder, and next to his body was the open cell phone. Under current Florida law, texting while driving is only a secondary offense, meaning you can't get pulled over for just that. Florida a bill sponsored by Tampa State Representative Jackie Toledo aims to change that made. and crack down on the penalty. It only takes a split second for you to have a crash. We were hit at such impact. We went from zero to 41 miles per hour in less than a tenth of a second. On September 15th, 2016, the Shearer family from Riverview found themselves stuck in I-75 traffic near Brooksville when a driver distracted by his phone slammed into their SUV at more than 100 miles per hour. Nine-year-old Logan Shearer died almost instantly. In the last image, I remember of my son is him laying under a yellow tarp on the side of the road. A sight most parents couldn't imagine. Brooke and Jordan Shear are now on a mission to make sure no one else has to. His death would be in vain and our survival would have been for nothing if we sat back and didn't do anything about it. They've devoted their lives to the Living for Logan Foundation, giving educational talks and pushing for better policy against distracted driving. The Shearer support the texting and driving bill introduced this session, but say there's still a long road ahead. We want to see distracted driving recognized as socially irresponsible. In a society driven to do everything at once, the Shearers are determined to do all they can to make distracted driving a thing of the past. Now, there are a couple of differences between the House and the Senate bill in the legislature right now. Both bills want to make texting and dri driving a primary offense, but it is only the Senate bill that imposes a completely hands-free requirement. And again, the House passed their version of the bill just a couple of hours ago. Wow, so it is happening as we speak, and really I think is. everybody sees it. If you look around, I had a crossing guard who sent me a message saying you wouldn't believe the number of parents in school zones yeah. on their phone, and the kids are watching. It affects everybody. It does. Thanks. Thank you, Victoria.